Um, so we, we have uh, – this is kind of one of the deadest week in sports. Uh, it just is. Uh, next week, uh, that's when free agency starts. And so it, 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 I will say – uh, this week is quiet, but you're getting a lot of stories on either quarterbacks that are available right now uh, or will be available or uh, who are rumored to be available. And it's a number that far surpasses anything in my life. Uh, you just don't get you don't get Tom Brady's on the market. Uh, it just doesn't happen very much. But we have a we have something going on in football where quarterback has never meant more. Uh, There's a lot of good young quarterbacks, so some teams like the Chargers and the Patriots may just bail on a successful quarterback. Tennessee, even though Ryan Tannehill had a great year, kind of a lifetime 500 quarterback, they may bail on him. So we thought we'd play the three-word game today. We play it from time to time during the NFL season where if you really boil it down, if you play the three-word game, it forces you to be very precise and very succinct with all the rumored to be available or available quarterbacks on the market. So here are my predictions on what happens. Here we go. Let's start with Tom Brady. Three-word game would be home, sweet, home. I don't think there's as many offers as people think. I do think the Chargers want him and will go after him and have the perfect complement of players for him. I thought the Chargers acquiring guard Trey Turner was a – symbolic move that Tom will shore up the interior of our offensive line, which is a weakness. I also think they've told Don Yee, who is Tom Brady's agent, will use our first pick to get a left tackle, therefore giving Brady a full complement of excellent receivers, a top tight end, two good backs, and a solved offensive line to go with a defense that gets Derwin James back. But my gut feeling is Tom values winning and culture and family, and he will stay in New England. Teddy Bridgewater, Gets tasty offer. This is my guy. Of all the veteran quarterbacks on the market, this is the one I like. He's 10 games over 500, high IQ, learns a playbook, total grown up, doesn't make mistakes. Now, the downside to Teddy is he's not going to beat you over the top. He's not a world class athlete. But there are teams, the Chargers are one of them, that don't need a superstar quarterback. They've got very good players. What they need is somebody unlike Phillip Rivers who lost games with big interceptions. I think he's going to get an offer or three in this free agency period, Teddy Bridgewater. Derek Carr, one more year. I think the Raiders, Mike Mayock, wants to move off him. I think Gruden likes him, doesn't love him, but I think they're stuck with him for a year because unless they can get Teddy Bridgewater – who, frankly, is a lot of what Derek Carr does, very accurate, can make all the throws, but is not going to be over the top, um, and ha- does have, like Bridgewater, uh, uh, an injury in his resume. I think they're going to stick with him one more year. Listen, he hasn't won enough games. He did complete almost 71% of his throws. I've always liked Derek Carr. I would not move off Derek Carr as you're transitioning to a new city. I think he's an adult. He's a grown-up. He works his butt off. I like him. I don't love him, but I like him. There's some Tony Romo here. I always doubted Tony in big spots, but I did think he was a franchise quarterback. So I think Derek's one more year in Vegas. Andy Dalton, nice knowing you. Listen, he was serviceable at his best. Now he's old and not as serviceable. Last year, 16 touchdowns, 14 picks, not a lot of arm strength. He's not really what the league has become. You're not going to roll the pocket out much with him. Uh, uh, Obviously, Cincinnati's moving to Joe Burrow, as they should. I'm not a huge Burrow fan. I do think he's a better prospect by far than Andy Dalton was, and he's an Ohio kid. So they're going to go and move. They should move. And, and by the way, he's had four playoff spots, 0-4 in all of them. Never been a big game guy, but a nice kid. Nice knowing you. Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy some more. Best quarterback rating in San Francisco since the 90s. John Lynch likes him and is all in. Kyle Shanahan, whose legacy is not completely formed yet, is a little more impatient with Garoppolo. I do think his judgment is not the best But I will say this about Garoppolo. You can move the pocket with him. You can roll him out. He's athletic enough. He's very accurate. He's got an above average, though not great, arm. And I think in the end, this is a franchise that's 21-6 and when Jimmy Garoppolo starts. Jimmy some more. Dak Prescott gets his money. 
Listen, he's won 16 more games than he's lost. I do worry that an aging offensive line could expose some of his limitations. He's a good athlete, not special. He's got a decent arm, not even really, really good. His accuracy is hit and miss. But he wins a lot of games. Uh, he's good for the brand. He's tough. Um, you know, he, he, he doesn't shrink in big games. I think he has just certain limitations. I think he's going to get his money. Phillip Rivers. Not the answer. I mean, listen, after Baker and Jameis, who are both younger and more athletic, he led the NFL in picks. Uh, I, Indianapolis is sn sniffing. Uh, I, he had a good career. You know, we, I've said this before. I think sports tend to move into certain athletes and out of certain athletes. I think the sport is moving away from the Eli Mannings and the Phillip Rivers. Uh, it's moving away from solely pocket guys. Uh, he has also become increasingly mistake-prone. Listen, it's hard enough to win in this league. It's hard. It's hard for everybody. You can't lose games you should win, and that's become his moniker. Ryan Tannehill, tag, I'm it. I'd franchise tag him. Uh, I do think Ryan works hard. I think he's athletic, big, can make plays. And I, in the current culture of the Titans, which is a physical run first team, you can win a division with him. I, I think that division's kind of a mess anyway. Andrew Luck got hurt, left. It's never been the same. It's Deshaun Watson bailing water for the dysfunctional Houston Texans. But I would not give him a long-term deal. Um, again, he's a 500 quarterback. That is what he is. He's a 49 and 49. You know, you are what your record is. He is a 500 quarterback. Now, in that division, 9 and 7 may be good enough. And I do think Vrabel and Derrick Henry are kind of the, 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 the foundation of the franchise. But I'd tag him. Finally, Jameis Winston walking the plank. Listen, it's, it's over. He's the most productive quarterback in the league just half the time for the other side. Uh, I think he's had more than ample opportunities. I think it should be noted that Tampa's done a great job as a franchise to draft offensive personnel. Receivers, tight end, running back. I like Tampa. I think Teddy Bridgewater, this is the perfect fit for him. If I was Tampa, I would go get Bridgewater. He doesn't have the arm of Jameis. He makes no mistakes, and this offense is loaded there are a lot of special athletes in tampa on that offensive side hi everybody thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest from the show also be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on fs1